the former undisputed UFC welterweight champion and still one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world, the Nigerian nightmare, Kamaru Usman. What do you think his approach is going to be here tonight? Because we love the jab, the striking has evolved, but we all know what his bread and butter is. Well, his bread and butter is his wrestling. I think the only thing I can point to is that he lost the first fight of his career. Then he went on that tremendous run to become the welterweight champion and widely regarded the best pound pound fighter in the world. That was his bounce back. Tonight he has to do that again. He's got to go back to that mindset that allowed for him as a young fighter to tie George St. Pierre's record for most wins in the welterweight division. That starts tonight. And ultimately he's hoping that leads to another raid atop the welterweight division. And there have been rumblings about some injuries, maybe a knee, his hand. He says he's healthy. We'll see how it goes for Kamal Usman getting back on the proven ground here tonight. in the game, ladies and gentlemen. The last boxing competition for him against Kevin McBride in 2005. He loves this mixed martial arts stuff. You know about his appetite for competition. This, feel, this felt like an eventuality, Tyson, on the biggest stage tonight. Yeah, it always felt like Mike Tyson would make his way here because he loves fighting so much. He loves mixed martial arts so much. But if you ever thought a guy could cross over from boxing with the athleticism, you thought it was Iron Mike Tyson. He was so fast, he was so gifted. He's an A-plus athlete. And if he commits himself to the wrestling like he did boxing, I imagine Tyson will find a lot of success inside the octagon. Once the baddest man on the planet, trying to realize that distinction again, albeit in a different combat sports setting. We'll see how it goes for Iron Mike Tyson. in all of MMA, again again, back on the proving ground tonight. Our tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. We set it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Mike Tyson! So Herb Dean, third man in there for this one. All right, round one of this stand-up only fight is underway. A friendly reminder of the rules that not a whole lot of them, but you can't grapple or wrestle at all. And if the fight does hit the canvas, no follow-up strikes permitted on the fight. Shot blocked by Tyson. Beautiful left hand punch. Now he's throwing that jab to the body. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. That was Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Oh, how good is this? One minute into the fight, and we got a full-on brawl. These guys said that they were going to point to the center of the octagon, and they were going to fight. Did I believe them? No. So right now, I am so wrong. They are doing exactly... Oh! 
Just over three minutes to go now. Well, he This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. All right, you see his high-level footwork here, maybe trying to set up that hook shot again, potentially. You could tell, John, he's setting a trap. He's trying to walk his opponent back into his hook side, his big power side, so he'll keep bait, not little punches, with no intent to land, just to get his opponent where he needs him to be. Oh! He's hurt again! All right, so that opened up a... Oh! How about these two going at it? Oh, he's got him hurting here. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Oh, big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he needs to try to chase down that big. DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? You think he's got to go in and just get him out of there. Well, he's trying, but he gets a little bit anxious. So he starts to throw a lot of punches and not the right punches. And because he's throwing so much, he keeps missing. And by doing that, he's missing chances to end this fight. Just before the horn, saved by the belt. So now back to the stool. He has only 60 seconds to recover. We'll see if physically he can keep himself in this fight. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well. But when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two here. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Another strike hits that eye area, and it is getting messier by the minute up there. Well, he's getting targeted now. He's been hitting that spot so many times. He's got from here. Oh, oh, my God! Here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at 43 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Iron Mike Tyson! So, big UFC win for Iron Mike Tyson here tonight. Words you probably thought you'd never hear, but since crossing over from boxing, it has been all systems go for the former boxing champion, Iron Mike Tyson, showing you that the power definitely translates here to the octagon. You can argue this is his biggest UFC win to date.